the kitchen with me, Shemi Morali on IBN TV. In today's show, we are going to talk about dua. We all know that dua is a way of communicating with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if we have any problem or if we just want to have a conversation with him. So in today's show, we're going to talk about why it's important and sometimes we feel that when we feel that our duas are not answered, what we should do and why it is like this. So before we get on to the show, let's have the participants introduce themselves, please. My name is Sakina Hasnain Kamali. Okay, and which school do you go to? I'm in the Gars Primary School. Okay, Sakina, thank you. My, my name is Mahdi Raza Shankar Mali, and I'm going to Almond Al Al Boys Primary School. Okay, so welcome to today's show. Okay, so we all know what a dua is, right? Yes. Okay. So there's a, there's a quote about this which says that dua has been described as the weapon of the believer. So Mahdi, what do you understand by this? I understand, like, if we recite the dua, it is said in uh, the it said in the Holy Quran and in one book that uh, in the dua nur it says in the translation, "O oh, oh Muhammad, we we have brought to you a gift, and that gift is dua." You should not show it to your enemies. If you show it, they will try to take it away from you. That is how I understand how is dua. A weapon. Okay, very nice. Okay, Sakina. Right. Dua is a weapon of the believer. I understand that dua is a weapon of us. Like, if we get in trouble, shaitan wants to come, we say, Awud billah. I mean, Awudu Billah is even from the Quran. So it's like a dua, short dua. But it's like a weapon, it protects you. Yeah. Yeah. So we can say that the weapon of the believer is like a protection for us, yeah? yeah. Not those weapons that we use in the <laughs> yeah, world. Like, yeah. Okay, yeah. But it is a way of uh, shield from uh, Shaitan and from many bad things or negative things that we go through, right? Okay. Angriness, meanness, rudeness. Yeah, all the Bad negative words. qualities, yeah. So, and the good thing about dua is that it's always with us. Like, we know it never, it never gets spoiled or it never runs out. Like, you know, like in other weapons, you know, if you are in a fight and you use a weapon and if it gets destroyed, you have to go buy one or you have to wait make for, and you're to make, make one. one. Whereas the dua is always with us. Yeah, it's just up to us of when we use it, yeah, or how we use it. Okay, fine. So now, when we are, um, when we are in Madrasa, or even our parents tell us that we should always make duas all the time to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because he has so much time for us, right? Now the question is, do we have enough time for him, Sakina? Do you think in this world, the way the world is at the moment, that we have enough time to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? No. Okay, why do you think not? No, because <coughs> we spend more time in like TV, watching movies and stuff. But we never have time for Allah. When it's time for something you ha you want, you ask Allah, Oh Allah, please, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. But you won't get it because you weren't respecting Allah. He's the only one. Okay, interesting. So you are trying to say that we are very much involved in the world right now, that we don't um, give time to Allah, but we only give time when we have time, not because um, it's, what it's supposed to be the yeah. Okay. Madi, do you agree with Sakina's point? I think that uh, we don't have time for it. When we watch movies, we always think about what's on the char characters. Well, how do they do it? And then when it becomes Maghrib time, and when it is time for prayers, means like, prayer is like a dua. Mm -hmm. It's like talking to Allah or making a simple conversation with Him. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I think we should stop doing this because it's a, it's a bad thing. Matthew, that's a very good point. And we should uh, brought about this, uh, uh, this point that there are two types of dua. Okay, so the first type of is when you ask for something, like let's say you ask for a job or you, you ask for like good health, 
Yeah? And there's another form is like supplication, meaning when you pray the mass or when you recite the Holy Quran. Yeah? So like you were saying that when you in during Maghrib time, you're supposed to go and pray. That is also a form of dua. And you're gonna have a conversation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he's always free for us, right? Okay, so now that we know that we don't have enough time for him, yeah? What do you think we can try so that we don't let him, uh, let Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala become upset with us because we're forgetting him? I think uh, that uh, if we, when it's uh, Maghrib time or when, or when we want to talk to Allah or something and, we, and there's a best show, like it's a cartoon for us, uh, the one which you like. So I think, well, it, it will repeat. Mm -hmm. It's not that uh, we have to watch it only. It can even repeat again, because they broadcast it mm -hmm. again and again. And we should uh, off the TV, or then just go, uh, uh, go to the Musla and do wuzu, then go to the Musla and uh, uh, recite a dua or recite the, uh, recite the Holy Quran. Okay, very good. So you are, you are, you are trying to say is that, um, that we, when we know that we can watch whatever that comes on TV is going to repeat again, instead of watching the same thing again and again, maybe you can break it down by giving time to Allah SWT and then going to watch your cartoons or maybe playing games or whatever, yeah? So you are trying to say we should maybe change our schedule. Yeah. Yeah? Work around it so that nobody gets upset. Very nice. Okay. Sakina, what about you? Like, an uh, example of me. Example, like, I'm watching uh, a show of Cartoon Network. I watch it, I watch it every single time and I watch it, want to watch it again and again and again. What if it's, like, uh, like on Sunday and uh, it's Zohar time? and something is going on. I really wanted to watch it, but I didn't watch it. And I went to pray. So, I made Allah happy while going and missing my favorite show. And by making my, by making Shaitan happy, I made Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy instead. Yeah, so very good. They always say, if you make Shaitan happy, Shaitan make be more powerful, but in the day of judgment, you're, if you say lies more, your tongue will be in a hot, hot tree. Hot tron. Oh, brother, we don't want that to happen to us, right? Mm. I don't think any one of us want that. Yeah, so that's a very good point because you you are thinking that I'd rather make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy rather more than shaitan. Because when you make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy, he becomes so happy that he Gives you so much blessing. Yes, that's good. Lots of blessings. Okay, so what Matli and Sakina have said is that maybe we should work around our schedule, our routine, and see what's more important. Not saying that you have to give your whole day just to talking to God, because even He knows that we have things to do. But we make it such that we don't leave Him out because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ever ready. And Sakina said that dua can be so short, like, it's just like one, two words maybe? Yeah, if we say that to, to make shaitan away, sorry shaitan, it's not the time for us, it's time for Allah. Exactly. That small dua, go Allah SWT will listen to us because he's ever ready. So, when, okay, when they say you have to make dua, we always feel it's those so many pages to us. No, but we can also say it in our language, in English. In English, like for example, oh God, please help me, that's a dua. So in our busy day, I'm sure we can take out enough time for him. Yeah. Okay. So now let's get back to another question. That is, um, okay, Mati, do you feel okay? Do you have you ever experienced the fact that let's say you've been reciting for you've been asking Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala for a certain thing, okay, again and again and again, same dua, mm. and yet whatever you ask for is not been answered yet, okay? What like what goes in your heart when that happens to you? I feel like uh, I have done something wrong. That's why it's not uh, being accepted. I feel like uh, crying that why has uh, Allah not uh, accepted my dua? 
But maybe I have made a mistake. Okay. Yeah, you could look at it that way. Or you could maybe look at it that whatever you've asked for, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows when it's the right time to give you this, whatever you've asked for. Yeah. yeah? Okay. How do you tell yourself that, oh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one day going to... Like, how do you stop yourself from feeling bad and upset with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What do you do that changes your mind? Uh, I would uh, actually not watch TV, but I would just watch something which is religious, like I watch IBM. Okay. Or I watch Ahlul Bayt TV. That's what I do. So that's what you do so that you can... Um, maybe you can, hopefully that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will answer your du'as because you're changing what you do, yeah? Okay, fair enough. Sakina, what about you? What do you feel that when you've been praying for something for a long time and it has not come true or not happened? Uh, like, uh, maybe it's not a good time for you. Maybe Allah knows that maybe it's not the good, right time for you to get it or maybe it's not till you grow up and then might you get it. Yeah. Or maybe you don't have to just get it because maybe it's wrong that Allah doesn't want that. that yeah, and he knows you. best, right? And he knows best. He's a powerful. Yeah. And, and it could be another way. I was doing some research and um, it said say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sometimes delays our prayers is because he wants us to continue to ask him, continue to converse with him because that's how we give him our attention when like you know like when we ask for something else we're taking time from our life to talk to him and he wants us to carry on doing that so he says let me just delay the dua for a bit and another one is also t testing our faith in him there are some people in this world that they want so many things but they haven't got it but yet still they say thank you every single day yeah. Right? Oh Allah, I want this. Oh Allah, I want, you didn't give me this. I want this again. Oh, I plead, I want this again, 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 and you keep on asking him until he gets angry. Not necessarily angry, but he might think that we are not getting the message that this is not for us right now. Yeah? But like I was saying that there are some people who are much un in an unfortunate position than us, but yet they will say thank you for giving me maybe one sip of water or giving me half a piece of bread and you're so happy. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and if he doesn't give us anything in this world, then he has promised us in the hereafter. So it could be like you said, this is not the right time to get our dua answered, right? Okay, that's very good. Okay, so we're going on to our last question, which is that why do you think we have been repeatedly told that we should make duas for others first and then ourselves? Like, look at the poor people. They're so, like, they're so poor. We, like, we have buildings. They stay on the street. And they always ask for money. Today when I was passing, I saw an auntie asking for money, but, but my mom was in a hurry, so she couldn't give. But it's always said that first we should make dua for others more than us. Because we have a lot of things. We ask for like, a sweet. Hola, I want a sweet. Hola, I want a chocolate. Small, small things. But the poor people, sometimes they lose their mother. Yeah. Okay. And they, they say, oh Lord, my mother, you've taken away my mother. The only important thing I had. They leave alone. Okay, that's interesting. So you are saying that we should pray for others because they have uh, they're in a worse situation than us, yeah? And, and also it could be that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will appreciate us more because we are thinking about others rather than ourselves. We're not being selfish and thinking. Yet sometimes you want to just ask things for yourself because it's between you and the Lord, right? But he also tells us that always remember others, yeah? Okay, Mahati, what about you? Me, yeah. as it is, I, I've, I've heard in, uh, uh, in sermons in, uh, on Juma Namaz mm -hmm. that it is said that this is a st statistic about people, uh, they are poor and when we help them, they, it feels like what we are getting on, we are getting honor 
of uh, we are getting of honor to be good like uh, we are talking to Allah and suddenly a poor person comes and he asks us we should not cut that we are doing you in instead we should just say amen and help that poor person and then we should continue good okay that's nice and i i just something came in my mind that um, we are getting an opportunity to better ourselves in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by asking for other people's blessing i mean other people's dua let's say we are not that great i mean we are good muslim but we're not so up there but m making the words for others will bring us to that level because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be like oh my god these kids they think about others first than themselves and others could be family parents friends teachers even those people in the other side of the world yeah okay so last, last question before you what kind of dua do you think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be, be happy to answer Maybe give me one type of a dua that we can. Okay, I will start. Let's say, for example, if we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, please um, give uh, please give blessings to all those people who don't have parents. Give them extra blessing. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will be happy to answer that because it's a good thing we are asking for, right? Okay, Sakina. Like every time, sometimes when I was a little girl. Uh, Every time my mom used to tell me, do dua, do dua. I didn't know, that time I didn't know how to do Sadai Shukar. But then I learned Sadai, how to do Sadai Shukar. So when I was five, I did Sadai Shukar and, and then I continued saying, oh Allah, instead don't give me more, more uh, stuff. Give, uh, oh Allah, please give, please cure the, the sick ones mm -hmm. in the hospital. Oh Lord, please the, uh, make the poor people at least get some little mo money. I used to say stuff like that. Oh, that's nice. And you still continue to do that? Yeah. And every night before I go to sleep, I said surah stuff. Yeah, same here. It's the best time to talk to and ask Muhammad before you go to sleep. Yeah? Okay, so that's good. And I'm guessing you do, you're going to continue to do the same till you grow old. Okay, uh, Mati, what about you? Any special dua that you think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be very happy to answer? Uh, I would think that this dua in uh, Ramazan, we call it uh, uh, a small dua. We call it, uh, we start with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma adkhil ala ahli al-kubur al-surur. It means that, uh, oh Allah, gladden the people of the grave. And then this even comes, Allahumma ashfi kulla mariz. Oh Allah, please uh, cure every sick one. So that's the one you think that is the one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be happy. Very good. I agree with you as well because uh, I think people are wait. sick. A lot of people, sorry, a lot of people are sick in this world who need our extra pairs. Yeah? In every Ramadan, we used to go to Mahfla Masumi. But there, every time uh, when auntie, she lets small kids beside them more. Oh, that's uh, nice. Sometimes when nobody wants, I, I really wanted to, but I didn't know the one. So every day I used to try to practice. We do that at school and at and, and Grand Khan every time. But when they say it, I always follow. And there's a screen, it's written over there, and I always follow. Oh, that's nice. But it's good, right? Yeah. Okay. So, we unfortunately we've come to the end of the sh today's show. And um, so, Sakina and Mahdi, thank you very much for your points about the importance of dua. And I'd like to remind to all of those who are watching that we should try and balance our, uh, our lifestyle so that we can give enough time to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that we should always pray for others before we pray for ourselves because that shows how humble we are. and. There are people who need extra blessings, and if we can do so, so we might as well give it to them. And just make a dua every now and then. It could be one word, it could be five five words. I mean, it could be anything, and that's why I'm always ready to listen to us. So thank you very much, and remember all of us in your duas, please. Wassalam.